Scott Brown here, and today's exciting episode we are helping another builder redo this whole roof. Rust here, rust there, patches. We're hoping we can remove this old roof and put a new roof down before the rain comes this weekend. So, like any demolition, we start in reverse. So the last thing you do when you do a roof is the ridge cap, and that's what we're taking off first. Really Just in case people are worried that I've replaced Pato with uh, Cameron here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I haven't. Part of just arrived. Just oh, yeah. <laughs> Cameron has sort of been part of the channel for a while now. He's the one that let me borrow the Capex and a few other tools. And he's another builder in Auckland. And we try to help each other out. So that's what we're doing with this roof. That's the Safit or Soffit. Soffit. The sheet's pretty heavy, bro. Nah, they're light. Pretty light, I guess. Just it by the real name, man, the Soffit. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty much what we expected. Old native timber curling. Native timber framing. this part out. You can see the roof here. So we're just standing on these things. But they are supported by these trusses. And you can see all the roof space here that's been insulated. So far so good. Apart from a little bit of rot on the purlin at the bottom here. So that there we'll need to replace. Only 9.30, 6am and it's already roasting up there. So this is the new iron here, powder coated before it arrives and it's cut to length as well. So all we do is flip it round so the underside is rubbing on the scaffold there and then we uh, slide it up. Wow, look at that. Wow, you did such a great job, Pato. <laughs> Keep it up. Keep it up, my man. Perfect. Perfection. <laughs> Perfection. Perfection every time. <laughs> so you could probably tell that there was no paper underneath the old roof. That's fairly standard with these old New Zealand houses. All right, I only managed to drop my ruler, my lens cap, and uh, my vacuum cleaner. Just kidding, that was brought down here. Let's go have a look at the roof, eh? We made some progress, guys. As you can imagine, it's an old roof, so there was surprises. So under there is just two big holes that go down to two bathrooms. We'll cut them out later when uh, the new windows are made. Or well, skylights. You know what I mean. It's already started spitting. The clouds are gathering. And uh, we almost got to the end. Our goal was to do this in two days. And tomorrow, which is going to be as soon as I tip this camera over, it'll be tomorrow, we'll show you how these rafters are made. So uh, let's have a look at that now. And here it is, the structure. It's literally 100 by 50 going from here, the apex of the roof, all the way down to there. And as you can imagine, 
It was very bouncy. Uh, Cameron's found some structural support down here. Two, uh, 180 by 45 over there. 180 by 45, far out. Can you give me a Mickey? In other news, Pato and I decided to wear our uniforms today. <laughs> 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 Completely unarranged, but hey. The lies, bro, the lies. Good friends think alike, I guess. Time for a Scott Brown Carpentry weather update. A bit of cloud, but you know, nothing too drastic. It's fine, we're gonna put that. Tomorrow though, Friday, or today, if you're watching this, 90%, 90% rain. So we gotta get this roof done today, or else. To a tremendous start on this side. We had to replace a few pillars. new roofing. We just put a couple of screws in each sheet just so we can get them all down and then it's easier to screw in a straight line after that. But uh... Oh, yeah, the, the old fucking cut the rafter trick and not worry about it. Yeah. See that rafter there? It goes from the wall to the other wall but right in the middle they just... Yeah. Just clean cut it. So... We're gonna have to re-support that. It looks like maybe there's a chimney there or something in the past. Last old sheet. It's the last sheet. And last what? Are you kidding? Ah. We did it, bro. We did it. How do you work this thing? <laughs> Have you got more cameras phone on there? Yeah, but like it's like stuck on camera. It makes me nervous, bro. The way to celebrate any completion of a roof is to fly a drone above the roof. How cool is that? Anyway, roof done.